Hey party people, I'm Captain Zeus and welcome back to BP Fun. Now we have a bunch of Marvel news that has been dropping over the past few days, so we're gonna get right into it. According to Vanity Fair, Kevin Feige says that they won't resurrect Iron Man, despite previous rumors saying that they were going to bring back the OG Avengers cast. He says we're going to keep that moment and not touch that moment again, referring to Iron Man's snap at the end of Endgame. We all worked very hard for many years to get to that, and we would never want to magically undo it in any way. Now an Adventure into Fear TV project is reportedly in the works, according to Daniel RBK. This would be a project focused on Man-Thing, probably due to the success from Werewolf by Night and the DCU releasing a rated R Swamp Thing movie directed by James Mangold coming out soon. Now, according to Vanity Fair as well, Spider-Man Noir live action series is in the works at Amazon, and it has brought Steve Lightfoot, who helped write Netflix's Punisher series, as the co-writer alongside Oren Uzio, who's wrote the 2021 Mortal Kombat movie and the Cloverfield Paradox. This untitled series will follow an older grizzled superhero in 19 1930s New York City. This will be set in its own universe and not have Peter Parker as the main character. They also are working on a Silk Spider Society series with Angela Kang as the showrunner and as well Marvel is looking for a director for Spider-Man 4 since Tom Holland has come out to say he'll only do another Spider-Man movie if the script is worth it. Now over the weekend Zack Snyder has come out to say that he would only be tempted to make a Marvel movie if it's a Daredevil and Elektra story like Elektra lives by Frank Miller. Coincidentally enough Daredevil Born Again writers are also fans of Frank Miller's Daredevil work as mentioned in a previous video. Would you like to see Zack Snyder come over to the MCU? Let me know in the comments below. Now, new set images for Deadpool 3 is confirming the return of some classic X-Men villains and their deaths. From the images we've seen, it looks like the OG 2002 X-Man Sabretooth is going to be making his triumphant return as well as Toad. And Sabretooth is definitely dying again in this one. Who's to say as to why Deadpool is fighting this comic accurate Wolverine? We'll have to see when Deadpool 3 comes out next year and our first confirmed look at Dogpool with Wade. Now, I do hate the fact that we're learning more and more about this movie from leakers. I honestly just wish that they would stop leaking images and stuff about this movie. Who knows if this is intentional by Marvel to get people hyped about the MCU again. Now we also have some confirmations about upcoming projects that are going to be releasing. Echo, X-Men 97, and Agatha Darkhold Diaries are all confirmed to be releasing on Disney Plus in 2024, while Marvel Zombies and Spider-Man Freshman Year will not be releasing in 2024. And as we all know, Deadpool 3 is the only MCU movie that is going to be releasing next year. What do you guys think about this Marvel news? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Captain Zeus and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.